I need to make this video now because I've got to send this knife off tomorrow. This is a Flash Batch Spider Co. Bombshell. It is a Birch collaboration. I've never heard of a Flash Batch. Apparently it's something Spider Co. doesn't do very often. Show you this paperwork that came with it. Hopefully that's all in frame. Pause and read if you want. I picked this up for a buddy of mine. A really good buddy. Came in this cool little carry case. The knife itself is short, squat, kind of chunky. Reminds me, uh, reminds me of, I can't, the Giant Mouse Biblo. I, I don't remember the exact name of that knife, but it kind of reminds me of that in terms of uh, the chunkiness. It is made in Taiwan, Tai Chung. It's got Tai Chung Taiwan stamped on it, Spyderco CPM 20CV, and down inside the handle, it's engraved. Oh, let's see if I can read that. 0078 of 1250. So this is number 78 of 1,250 knives. Apparently when Spider Co. is done with their flash batches, the tooling that they make these knives with is discarded and will never be used again. So 1,250 of these knives are made and that's it. They'll never be made again. Knife in question here, I was unfamiliar with until my buddy inquired about it. It's got green G10, green backspacer. Everything is nice, nice and smooth, chamfered really well. Titanium liners. It's got a tiny little lanyard hole. That is very small. I think it'd be difficult to get. 550 paracord down in there. It's a hollow grind. Quite thick and stout. I'm not sure of the exact dimensions. Probably about 3 millimeters. It's got phosphorus bronze washers. Pocket clip. It's not deep carry. The blade itself is 1, 2, 3 three inches and if you count this little bit down here about three and a half inches total height of the blade itself is about an inch and a half almost two inches in this in this range it's very smooth it's not a free falling knife yet but when this thing breaks in it's going to be fantastic. I've only had it out of the case once just to take pictures of it for my buddy. I'm going to quit opening and closing it because I want to let him have the joy of breaking this in properly. Fairly expensive. After tax and everything is said and done, it's over $300. I'm not sure I would pay that. Matter of fact, I know I wouldn't just looking at the blade it's too too small too heavy for me if I got a blade this small I want it to be very very light I know a lot of guys don't care about weight but I do if I've got a heavy knife chances are it's not gonna find pocket time with me so what do you guys think of that pelican like blade shape just a massive amount of belly goes into almost a recurve very smooth G10 there's the lockup engagement there you go you can see the serial number in there very light 
really hard to see. So is this a model you guys are after? One you uh, don't really care to mess with? Let me know your thoughts down below. Just wanted to show it off before I send it out. That's oil that's all over the blade. Like I said, it just came out of the packaging. Well guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. Y'all have a good one.